to actually talk to this person now. I'm sure he has something to say. I'm not Ko. Emergency purge? What are you, some kind of robot or computer? That's basically the goal of this part. Find a person, talk to them, they throw one Digimon at you, because apparently they've never heard of parties bigger than one. You beat the mini boss Digimon, and then some other random person appears, and you have to do this a total of three times. And they, there's no indication which area they're in, so you just gotta keep on wandering like an idiot until you finally find someone. The sky is weak versus water, I'm guessing, since Ocean Love's almost doing 1,500 with no equipment. At least I think. And then he's all okay, apparently. Metal Greymon! Cyber. I wonder how all these metal Greymons can actually fit in the city. <laughs> Since there's apparently an infinite supply of them, they must all these Digimon must be overrunning the city. There must be barely any room for anyone else. Because if my understanding's correct, Metal Greymon's pretty big. Again, like I've mentioned before, the portions are proportions are kind of messed up. This place really likes to overload you with metal Greymon. It's like, how about some metal Greymon? You want some more metal Greymon? Here's a twist: metal Greymon. And a good thing about Ocean Love that. Since it has a chance to sleep, you can usually keep up to three people from attacking. Everyone got a quit. The main goal of running around finding people is to... kill the third person's Digimon, and then they'll give you an ID card which you can use to enter the office because you can't enter the office without it. Because apparently it got ID cards. Since when, I don't know, but apparently it has it now. All the Angemons, because there's a lot of Angemons. I think that's the coolest to me. But there's normal Angemon, Magna Angemon, Marine Angemon, which really doesn't count as an Angemon, but it still has Angemon in its name anyway. Angemon, Angemon, Angemon. At least not as bad as Agumon or Greymon. I'm not... I'm not the rival. Stop calling me the rival. Oh no, it's Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla. With buster cannons. Jeez. 
Jeez, that took a lot. So yeah, most of the mini bosses at this point, not so threatening. Wait, Marine Angemon's tagging again? We're just running circles around this thing, aren't we? Jeez. We've only got to attack once. And if, uh, it was someone else's turn, he would have died before even getting attacked in. Now the last person will give us the I Master ID card. It's Pixiemon. I don't like Pixiemon. And Don, he lies to you. But since most of you won't know what the specific quest I'm referencing, I'll just say that he lies to me. And that's why he deserves to die. Have you noticed that, uh, most the tamers that we're actually fighting are the ones that actually have names, not generic tamers? Just to point that out, I'm pretty sure they're part of the rivals' team. At least some of them are. Since apparently teams consist of two to three people. Unless there's one with four. They... There's no real regulation for team size there. I guess they put random people in a team and say, That's good enough. How many times do I have to tell you people I'm not the rival? versus thunder. Seriously, that was it? You should have at least, like, attacked twi twice or three times or something. Jeez. How lame was that? stays out of the control long enough to get the give this to you of course. She got blue screened of death. <laughs> so you go into the cheese room and then what do you expect other than more talking? Well, for starters, you need to do more than just stand there. Hi, you called? <laughs> I think it's funny that Glare is saying that. You real beings are so unnecessary in this world. Well, next time we kill the herd Digimon, and it's going to be a fun time had by all. <laughs>